This is how I animated the logo for my new advanced Apple Motion course, Motion Ignite. And of course, I did it all in motion. The designer gave me an Illustrator file, so I opened it in Pixelmator Pro and then sent it to a motion project. Then I dug through all the layers and some of them didn't belong here. They must have been old elements that didn't make it into the final design. So I deleted anything that was unnecessary. Then it was time to animate. I started with the part of the logo that says motion and I made it so all the characters started center screen and then expanded out. And I did this using keyframes, but that motion felt a little stiff. So I added a really nice ease in the keyframe editor. And I also wanted to give this play button some special attention. So at the start of the animation, I have it scale up and then spin into its final position. Now it's time to think about Ignite. I started with the eye and I used the stroke filter to change the colors of the gradient. And then using the custom behavior, I faded the character up from black and then faded the color effect to the original purple and blue gradient. Then I copied the stroke filter and that custom behavior onto the rest of the characters. And finally, I staggered all of those characters in my timeline. So they animated on one at a time with an acceleration. So this is the final animation. What do you guys think? If you want to see the full tutorial, click this link right here. And if you want to know more about Motion Ignite, visit jenjager.com.